Giants, Vintage Beef Cube here. Today comes another episode of Redstone Academy. As you see, we've quite, we've come quite the way since the beginning. What is this, like the third or fourth episode? No, wait, it's the fourth, obviously. And yeah, so today we're going to go over all of these devices right here. And yeah, some of these are pretty obvious, like pistons and, you know, doors. But some of them not so obvious, like hoppers, rails, all that stuff. Okay, let's start out with the easiest ones, pistons and sticky pistons. Obviously, they're quite similar. Uh, yeah, so I'll just put them one block apart for my convenience. They they can be activated with any uh, strength of redstone. The only difference is, I'll just put, you know, two pistons right here. Uh, they can both push blocks, but only the sticky piston can pull blocks. As you see, the sticky piston was on the right. If I were to put this on... See, they, they each push it out one block. And if I were to take away the power, only sticky piston would retract with the block. Okay. Uh, let's see. And... Each... Both of these have a 12 block limit. For how many blocks you can push. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same thing over here. But the sticky piston can only retract the block that's on its face. Which is, you know, this part of the piston. Uh, yeah. If I were to add a 13th block, it would not push because it's over the limit. And this sticky pistons have this, uh, it's not really a glitch. If you give it a one tick pulse, which is one tenth of a second. So, hold on, I'll, I'll just get this ready. Okay, so I'll power this block. And then I'll put a redstone torch on here. Uh, the quick pulse will cause this sticky piston to extend and retract, but it won't retract the block. But if I were to do it again, it would retract the block. This is really handy for, you know, all sorts of other stuff, which include, like, uh, vertical double piston extenders, mile stable circuits. We'll get, to, we'll get to all that stuff later. But, you know, it's, it's fun to play with. Uh, okay, next up we have dispensers and droppers. Practically the same thing, yet different in some various ways. Uh... Oh, I forgot to mention this, uh, pistons and sticky pistons can be placed in all six directions, you know, up, down, left, right. Yeah, same thing with regular pistons. And the same goes with hoppers, I mean, droppers and dispensers. They can be placed up, to the sides, and down. Okay, so droppers and dispensers, they basically function the same way. Uh, when, when, when powered, they will spit out whatever items are in there. So if I put in, you know, a regular item, like, let's say, stone, they would, you know, do it the same way. Huh. Yes. But if I were to put in some, you know, slightly different items, some of these include, uh, water buckets, uh, I'll get two of those, uh, creeper... Uh, spawn eggs, even though you probably wouldn't have those in, uh, survival. Uh, snowballs. Uh, uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, TNT. They behave differently. So, if, I'll go out here for TNT. Uh, okay, so if I were to power this... This just spits up the item, but this one spits up primed TNT. Uh, same thing with other stuff. If there were water buckets, then it would then it would behave differently. As you see, this one spat out a water source block. And this one spat out the water bucket. If I were to do it again, the this one would retract the water. Uh, let's see. We could put different stuff in there too. Get rid of this for a second. Uh, we could put in creeper eggs, or, you know, any eggs. This, this one would spawn the, this one would spawn the mob, and the other one would just spit up the item. And snowballs, obviously the dispenser's gonna shoot it out. Uh, yes. And droppers, 
they're they're really useful even though they can't do all the stuff that dispensers can they can they can move items from one container to another so okay i'll get a chest out and i'll put a piece of stone in here okay if i power this it's going to move from this one to this one see it's moved from this one to this one and then if i power this one it would move from this one to this one if i power this one it would move that one to the chest what are you looking at okay up next we have uh, the hopper the hopper is very useful it can move it can pick up uh, stray items but you see it picked up all three but it can also pick them up through uh, blocks that aren't quite uh, full I mean you probably heard that soul sand isn't a full block and it isn't because you could pick up items through it uh, and you know it also work with half slabs Uh, yes, but it can also take items from one container So if I were to put this in here, it would move in here and it can also put it can also put uh, Items into a container if it already took one So I'll get out a piece of stone put it in here I'll end up in this bottom chest But they also behave weirdly, but you know they could face downwards They could also face to the side and here's something to remember hoppers will always go to the side before they before they I mean they would always go down before they go to the side So if I like put an item in here, it would go to the bottom chest So I'll put this piece of stone in there and see it went in here uh, Yeah, but you know You could have hopper chains that go, you know horizontally. it would be fine if that happened Uh, yeah, which is, and this makes it really useful for, like, uh, you know, automatic shortage and stuff. Okay, on to the next one, which are the doors. You know, you have your three types of doors. You have your regular door. If I, you know, I, I just chose oak doors because, you know, they're, I guess, simple. And then we have trap doors. Same thing with iron ones and fence gates. If you power them, they open. If you unpower them, they close. Open close open open close okay after uh, we got that one out what okay I guess I'll just pick them pick up the rest of the stuff so I don't have to keep going back and forth okay now we have the rest on lamp pretty simple if you power it it's on and if you unpower it, it's off but if, if you have like rest on wire running into it it will it will power the ones around it so this one would power all of these and you know if i were to put a rest of torch down here and put like a whole bunch of lamps around it it would power all of them even the center one okay uh that's pretty much it for that now i'm gonna get to note blocks uh note blocks are interesting because they can play different they have like different instrument sounds if when they're placed on different i different blocks uh get rid of that get some glass okay so, right any okay so if it's placed on some sort of stone object then it will have a bass drum sound if it's if it's placed on any wooden object it will have a bass guitar sound if it's placed on sand or gravel, it will have a snare drum sound. If it's placed on glass, it would have like wooden stick sound. And any other object, you're gonna have piano. Well, sandstone obviously isn't any other object. So I guess I'll have to. Okay, that's nice. See, piano. Okay, now moving on. We have, last but not least, all of the rails. We have activator rails. We have accelerator rails, which are all, you know, b b just called power rails. And we also have regular rails. Obviously all different, yet pretty much similar. Okay, activator rails, they activate TNT minecarts. So, yeah, that's fun. 
drain so you just don't blow up, blow up that stuff. Okay, powered rails, they accelerate minecarts when powered. But when unpowered, they act like a braking system, sort of the opposite. Okay, and regular rails, you know, they're, they're just there. But regular rails can bend, like, you know, this. But if you power it at like a T-junction like this, it will swap sides. Hold on. Hmm. Maybe I have to do it differently. Like this, maybe. Huh. Yes. No. Why? Okay, I'll just get a lever out. As you see, it will swap sides when powered. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for those rails, and, well, that would be it for the episode. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned some stuff, too, obviously, and, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, goodbye, Vanish Beef Cube, out.